<sighs> I know y'all probably wanna like how in the entire fuck do you girl get catfish? How? How y'all? As much brains as I have, as much common sense as I have, how did I, out of all people, get catfish? I don't know what to feel, y'all. It's just it's crazy. <sighs> I know some of y'all like y'all laughing. Y'all can go ahead and laugh, laugh, laugh it all. Go ahead and laugh. Go ahead and laugh, because I got a story for y'all. So, he got me, y'all. I think it happens to the best of us, though. A lot of y'all like, oh, how? How it happened? You so stupid. You didn't know. It happens, y'all. People lie. And I can't believe it happened, but I'm glad that the truth came out. It came out today, finally. And it's because I was smart enough to ask the right questions. You have to be smart to ask the right questions with this online dating stuff. So, let me go ahead and just tell y'all. Get straight to the point. So, I was talking to this guy. <laughs> I don't know where to begin. I was talking to this guy, y'all. Said that he was 38 years old. Should have known because his picture looked way younger than 38. Don't even have like much facial hair. He got like a little, little beard, you know, a little, little sideburn, but not too much, right? Real cute in the face, you know. And for you guys on Facebook, you guys already saw it, but on YouTube, y'all will see it. Y'all, I'm going to do the thumbnail so you guys can see it. And should have known, man. Should have known. You look back, you like, damn, how in the, how in the entire fuck? Now, if you guys ever been catfish, let me know. Feel free to share your story below, because I'm going to go ahead and get into this thing, y'all. And I'm going to tell y'all how it happened to me. And granted, I haven't been talking to this guy for that long. We haven't been talking for that long, but it came out today. The truth came out this morning. And I'm just like, Why? What in the entire fuck, yo? That's why I say, you know what? I'm done talking to these L.A. dudes, y'all. I can't. This L.A. thing, online dating, people wonder why. Oh, why you date? Why do you set your location for New York? Because New York dudes ain't about that. Like, come on. Should have known. And I think it was some red flags that I think I, I saw and I noticed. But I chose to ignore. Why? Don't ever ignore the red flags. But for me, you guys, you guys know. First of all, I have to say this. Because you guys know that I'm a writer. I have a very creative mind. And the way my mind, my like, I imagine things. Like, my imagination just goes, wow. So, I think when people tell me stories, being a storyteller myself, being a writer, like, I believe I believe people's stories that God was with me. Yes. Javon, <laughs> God was with me. But I, I believe stories. And I you can call it whatever you want to call it. I know y'all be like, oh, she's dumb. She's gullible. Whatever. Maybe I am gullible. But I just I believe stories. I'm a storyteller. So I believe stories easily. My the way my mind works, like, if a motherfucker say it's a witch flying across the sky on a broom, I'll go look outside and be like, oh. Like, I believe crazy stuff like that. That's just how, with the followers you have, you're making it better for him. <laughs> so, I did believe everything this guy told me. Like he said, he was 38 years old, no kids, live in South LA, um, single. I believe his pictures that he sent me. One of the pictures he was posing with a dog, a cute little pit bull puppy, and I believed it. I was like, oh, it's so cute, you know. But I knew something was strange, and I'm going to tell y'all some of the red flags that I noticed. And this is the thing, y'all got to pay attention to the red flags. It's like blurting out to us, just blurting, and we just like being our own little fantasy. So he 
some things that are true. So he is a truck driver. He works at night. And I think one of the big things that kind of threw me off is it was like we would just talk at night for the most part. I mean, granted, I am a busy person. So during the day, I'm busy. Today, I'm off. So I'm not as busy as, you know, today as I would be other days. But I do actually have an appointment today. So, like, he, you know, being that he works at night, you know, usually people who work overnight... <laughs> What's up, man? What's up, Chuck? Where your girl got motherfucking catfish? Yeah, so over people, people who work overnight, you know, they usually get their sleep, you know, during the day. And I kind of wonder, like, why don't this dude talk to me during the day? So anyway, you know, we'll be talking while he at work, just talking on the phone, vibing, bonding and shit and this is a thing y'all because his voice the picture that i showed y'all for you guys watching this on youtube the picture that you see as my thumbnail like do voice don't sound nothing like that picture man voice sounds sexy charming like saying no what the right words are saying everything right and i don't think i'm that girl because i ask questions like i'm always questioning but i think with just our interaction i don't know certain things turn me on y'all and it i know for a lot of other women it could be red flags for y'all but for me certain i ain't gonna lie certain things turn me on. i have a little bit of twisted mind i will admit that y'all can tell from my fictional story that i wrote um dying to submit i'm a bdsm writer so certain things do kind of turn me on like i like dominant guys i like when guys assert themselves i like sometimes when dudes talk shit you know i just i don't know so i guess that would be a red flag for some right but i'm just like nigga you turning me on nigga. right so but anyway so like we'll have our moments where even we have our conflict and i'll be asking him questions and he'll get like defensive and stuff like that and get like irritated and even angry like dude will jump bad and get angry and that don't scare me when i don't know that just don't scare me when dudes like you know having a little like i wouldn't say threatening pose because we never met face to face i'm gonna get into that later y'all but thank god we can get to that point but it doesn't intimidate me. Like, I'm not intimidated in that way. If anything, it turns me on. And so, like, we'll just be on the phone, like, chopping it up. <sighs> and the more we have our little disagreements, it's like the deeper in love I was falling. And I don't even think I was in love, but I just felt like he obviously was getting to me because I gave him my time. That's the most valuable gift you can give anybody is your time. I gave this dude my time, y'all. I was talking to him. I took him very seriously. I don't know why I'm stalling with y'all. I'm about to just go ahead and get into it. So, he was like, which I knew this is, this, this is what it is, y'all. This is what it was. He was like, so I have this issue. And it came out of nowhere when he came forward to share this information. He was like, I got this issue where... Um, I was dating this girl for eight years, a girl that he said he was madly in love with for eight years, right? This is a story he told me, which I don't, I think that's just, I think it's lies, but I, I believed it. Unfortunately, I believed it. He was like, he was dating this girl for eight years and she died. Y'all don't laugh. She died in 2017. He says December 20, he had a date and all like December 9th, 2017. And he said, now that I think about it, see, this is why I'm a writer, y'all, because this this right here, this content right here, it can be a whole book. Because now that I'm thinking about it, I find it kind of ironic that me and my ex broke up in December 2017. I'm like, what if this is my motherfucking ex, y'all? Trying to see, that's the way my mind works, y'all. This, this, this story got so many layers to it, but... Yeah, so that's a whole nother thing, too, because I was dating this guy for three years. You guys know, like, he's from New York. He moved out here to L.A. with me. We was dating, you know, for three years. I met him in New York. We broke up in December 2017. So I find it very ironic that that guy's story is that he was with this girl for eight years, but he said that she died December, 20, December 9, 2017. And this is the kicker. He said, after she died, like, it's been a year and a half. 
and he's been having some problems. <sighs> and I'm like, what kind of problems you been having, yo? Like, what what's going on? And so he's like, he had like he says that he wants to fall in love, right, with a woman. And he was like. Like, do know he do saying every all the right shit, right? He personalized it. He didn't just say like generally speaking, like a woman. He was like, you know, I want to meet you. I really like you. You know, I want to get to know you. Um, but I have this issue. And the issue comes up. I was like, I got this issue where I don't want to just fall in love with any woman. I want to make sure it's the right woman. And because I don't want to mess anything up between me and you, I would rather for us. <laughs> it's so stupid now I think about it, but I believe this shit. I, I believed it, but I didn't believe it, okay, y'all? So don't, don't bash me too much, y'all. So he was like, he has to have phone sex right he's like I, I need to have phone sex because you know i'm sexually frustrated and i haven't had sex in over a year and a half since my ex-girlfriend died and he said she died of a heart attack and so i'm just like he's trying to fucking use sympathy like y'all do think y'all slick try to use freaking sympathy right so of course right when he told me that story and this was like early on like in our little date and little phase thing where he was like he told me that story about, you know, his ex. And, of course, you know, I told him about, you know, my ex and me being single and stuff. So, I believe that shit. I believe that, y'all. Now, tell me, y'all watching, tell me what y'all think. Because <laughs> I know y'all laugh. I know you're like, this girl. So, I believed it. And I was like, I was feeling for him. I was like, dang, that's messed up. You know, sorry for your loss. And see, that's the thing. Y'all see... Guys be wondering why girls be having up their guard and stuff. Because it's a lot of y'all walking around here. And then somebody gonna comment on my post talking about, Oh, how is it you keep running into these dudes? And I pray to God I never meet anybody. I'm like, bullshit. Like, y'all acting like y'all ain't never met somebody who lied to y'all. Like, you never been lied to. Okay, you never been lied to. Okay, okay. Whatever. For a lot of y'all who follow my page... A lot of y'all fell for my pranks, several of my pranks. I done pranked a lot of y'all on April Fool's Day. Y'all sitting up here. Actually, I was y'all was watching a video. So this ain't even a prank over the phone. I feel like I got pranked over the phone with this dude because we never met. Y'all got pranked by me through video. I was talking to y'all. Y'all saw me and y'all still believe everything that I was saying. Because that video where y'all thought that I was going to cut... My dress, y'all remember that? And y'all was just like, no, don't cut them, don't cut them. Like, how do y'all not know this is a freaking April Fool's joke? It's on April Fool's Day. So don't act like you've never been fooled before. You've never been pranked or never been lied to, okay? I get it. You want to attack me and beat me up and make me feel like shit. You don't have to do that, you guys. So, yes, I fell for I believe that, you know, because I'm a compassionate person. You know, I have empathy. I care about people. And I'm like, dang, you know, that's messed up. And I was listening to him. And I was feeling for him or whatever. And he was like, yeah. <laughs> Shit, no, this got to be a fictional story, y'all. Like, I know a lot of authors follow my page, writers. Y'all can go ahead and make this shit a fictional story. I most likely will write about this in my autobiography. But crazy, man. So, dude was like, yeah, so I want it to be right. He painted this whole ideal that he wanted everything to fall like be right right everything to fall in the right place so he imagined that okay you meet a female meet a woman and he just said a female was like i, I mean i want to meet you but when i meet you you know i want it to be just right i don't want to like rush into having sex you know um i want to get to know you as a person he told me this like, i want to get to know you as a person and considering that i haven't had sex in a year and a half you know, and I have these sexual urges. It was like I'm six foot six, tall, tall guy. You know, I'm all I have this hard on sometimes, like erection, and I want to make sure that you know when we meet is right, so that I'm not all over you and just wanting to fuck. So can you give me phone sex? 
<laughs> bad experiences make great stories, but you have a good heart. I don't understand why women love hard men. I don't try to be hard, but I handle business. Don't change your heart, but be careful. <laughs> well, I am here waiting for you in the UK. <laughs> Mark, uh, dude. So, okay. So, yeah, he said it. You know, it sounded all good and stuff. I was like, dang, okay. He, it sounded very unusual. I'm like, what? You don't want, like, you want to actually exercise restraint in a sense. Like, he made it like he was trying to exercise restraint. Because he's like, I, you know, I recognize, you know, that I haven't had sex in a year and a half. And I, when we meet, and you're very attractive. I don't want to be all over you. And, you know, we have sex. And then if we have sex, then I'm going to be unattractive to you. Because it's like, you let me hit it on the first day. Like, he was speaking hypothetically, right? <sighs> Wait, is that tape? I was looking for some tape earlier. But, um, so I was like, okay, he's saying the right shit. Because he's talking kind of like... Because I'm the kind of person that I don't like to have sex on the first date. Like, I hold out. And if it's a guy that, I, yeah, I'm trying to build something with, you don't want to mess that up. You want to take your time, slow down, and get to know a person. So he was saying the right shit. But the whole caveat with that he had this issue. So it was a dilemma for him because he was like, granted that he hasn't had sex in a year and a half. Like, he's horny. He's sexually frustrated. And in order for us to meet, he wanted me to do phone sex with him and I'm just like, what? And we just kept going back and forth of this whole phone sex thing. He was very adamant, like, I want to do, we got to do phone sex, phone sex. And I'm just like, what? Now, whether or not I had phone sex with him, I plead the fifth on that part. <laughs> but you guys can fill in the dots. So... You know, it was kind of like the same thing every day. He would go to work, you know, at night, and we hit we hit each other up. We talked for hours, just vibing, dude getting up all up in my dome and stuff. And I felt like conversation-wise, we fit, we fit together like a glove, you know? Because you guys know I'm submissive. I do like dominant men. I like men who are very assertive, you know? And <sighs> so fast forward to the day, because... I'm just getting so annoyed telling the story. Fast forward to this day. Today. Mm -mm -mm. We had a conversation over on the phone as he was getting off work for several hours. I'm like so disappointed because I'm like, why am I talking to you this long? I'm on the phone with this dude, man. Like such a waste of time. Not just today, but the days that we've been talking. So, so like, I had been talking to this guy for, like, a week, you guys. That's a long time for me because we're talking about a busy person, a busy woman here, you know, full-time PhD student. Like, I ain't got time for these games, yo. No one got time for these games, but, I like, I'm trying to be focused, but at the same time, I'm a human being. I'm a human being, and I'm in... I'm in my mid-30s. My biological clock is ticking. Like, come on, I'm 35 years old. What do you expect? You know what I'm saying? So, I'm feeling him. But when our conversation there was kind of different because I'm just like, hold up. You know, we talked all the way till he got off of work this morning. Then he get off of work and he goes home. And when he get home, I ask for a picture. I was like, send me a picture. <laughs> this is where God is asked. I said, send me a picture of the sex you had experiences. I know, India. I know. This catfish producer looking for a new star. <laughs> I know, right? I haven't had an online day, but even face-to-face -face folks will still lie. I'm telling you, people lie and you believe them. It's not so much that you're dumb. Part of it, okay, I can own partial responsibility, right? So today... When he got home, I was asking him, I said, you know, send me a picture. And he was like, I can kind of stand off. And she was like, no, you know, he was asking me, can I do something for him? 
And I'm just like, no, that don't make sense. It's like, it doesn't make sense how you're trying to create this fake ass story about you needing your sexual needs met before we meet. So he was like, I'm going to go to Vegas. If you don't want to do it, now go to Vegas. I'm like, why would you go to Vegas, dude? Like, it don't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. I feel like he was just trying to use, like, paradoxical intent with me in a way. And I'm a psych person. Dude, I study psychology. So for a person to use psychology on me, reverse psychology, y'all don't know how I feel right now. I'm just like, what the fuck, yo? And I think part of it, that's the thing. Even though I was like, yeah, he got me. But part of me was attracted to that. Cause I'm like, damn, this dude's smart as fuck. <laughs> like, I like, it's it's weird, but I like when guys know how to get up in a girl's head. Like, I like when guys get up in my mind. I'm an intellectual person, and I like guys who know how to stimulate my mind. So he definitely did that. So when I was asking for the picture, you know, he was acting standoffish, and like, he didn't want to send it. So I was like, you know what? I say, this ain't going to work. I got upset because I get in my modes too, you know. And I'll be like, this ain't going to work. I'm done with you. I, that's that's the reason why I'm blocking you. And um, I said, on top of that, I think that you're married. Because I find it ironic that we only talk when you go to work at night. And I say, if you say you live alone, then we can continue this conversation while you're at home. And I'm like, are you still sitting in your car? This is before we had hung up the phone. I'm like, you still sitting in your car? And he was like, he kind of avoided the question. He was like, why? I was like, I'm curious. Like, if you home, get the fuck out of the car go in the house. Like, what are you hiding? So this is it, y'all. Like, you got to you gotta know how to ask the right questions. And so we hung up the phone, and that's when I was, like, texting him, and I, was, I just went off on him on text. I was like, nah, this ain't going to work because I feel you run a game on me. And this wasn't the first time I said it. I was like, my answer was like, how you feel that? What make you feel that way? And this is the thing, y'all. Like, dude smart as fuck. Because there are moments, yeah, where he may get, like, loud and defensive, but there are also moments where he get, like, real sensitive, right? Like, not in a bad way, but in a good way. He'll, like, actually he'll listen, like, try to have empathy. So he was like, so he'd be like, baby, what's what's wrong? Like, <laughs> like, motherfucker, yo. Motherfucker. He's like, tell me, you know, uh, what's going on? And I was just like, nah, this ain't going to work. Like, I don't, I, don't, I don't feel right. And I was telling him about my intuition. He was like, and he lowered his voice. He motherfucker think he's slick. We say, yeah, it's all right. You should be able to talk different times, not just the same time all the time. Yeah, see, he asked too many questions with his whole line. <laughs> exactly. Think he's slick. So he lowered his voice, you know, trying to lower. Like, motherfucker, that's psychology shit. Motherfucker lowered his voice. And he was like, baby, you know, sometimes your instinct's wrong, you know. You can't listen to your instincts all the time. You know, all the soft, sweet voice and shit. And I'm like, nah, man, my instincts be right. You can't tell me my instincts wrong. And that was the second time I brought that my, my instincts up to him. I was like, my instincts tell me something ain't right. So the, today wasn't the first time I mentioned my instincts. And he had said it before, oh, your instincts. You can't trust your instincts all the time. I'm like, nah, my instincts be right. In this day and age, there's too many video apps available to FaceTime. You should have told him to FaceTime. <laughs> Right. See, that's the thing. Guys are asking me to FaceTime. And honestly, I don't, like, ironically, I make videos, but I don't like FaceTiming because I've done it before. And all dudes do on video chat is just stare at me. The conversation goes out the window. I'm a conversational person. I like to talk. You know, I like a back and forth conversation. But when I FaceTime, I don't know why. I do just sit there and they be looking at me the whole time. Looking at me, and then some guys want to get, like, sexual and be like, oh, let me see this. Let me... Nah, man. No. No. And no. <laughs> so I don't like doing that. I just, like, when we're talking on the phone, there's less distraction. They're not, they're not distracted by what I look like. They just have... They talk to me. But when the video comes on, it's like they get quiet. And then they just be looking and smiling. And they don't know what to say. And I'm just like, dude, talk. So, say so sometimes your instinct is wrong. <laughs> Wait a minute, baby. I see why you feel. <laughs> oh, for real, India. Yo, man. 
violated like I violated. Oh my gosh, violated, disrespected, like shit it. So I'm telling him like, yeah, my instincts, right? And he was like, no, nah, not your instincts. I was like, well, lose my number. I just got off. I was like, nah, I, I know I'm right. I know my instincts are right. My gut is telling me, like, nah, something ain't right. Like, listen to your gut, man. Your instincts are there for a reason, yo. People say your instincts wrong. I don't know about that. I don't know. Sometimes your decision making may be wrong, but instincts are different. Instincts can drive decisions. You have to be able to differentiate between your instincts and your thoughts, right? So your instinct is something that's very intuitive. It's like your spirit, you know? And your instincts can influence your thoughts. And then your thoughts can then influence behavior. And you make choices based on that. But instincts is something that's very subtle. It ain't, it's, it's, it's deeper than your thought. Because I know your thoughts can be wrong. People's thoughts are wrong all the time. They have very irrational thoughts, you know. That's not what I, I ain't talking about thoughts. I'm talking about instinct. Your instincts are there, man. It's more of an animalistic thing. We're born with instincts. Babies have instincts. Even before babies have language, they have instincts. This is a survival mechanism. It's what keeps you protected. And so I wouldn't say people's instincts are wrong. I always say people's instincts are right. You know, maybe their thought is wrong. So you got to be able to tell the difference between the two, between your thought and your instincts. But after you verify it's him, then you can go back to the phone convos. You just need video chat for verification. Okay, I'm going to do that. Word up, word up. Just do it just for verification, but you can go back to talking on the phone. Good advice. See, as smart as I am, I guess I'm not too smart. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Yes, see, it's that, that instinct, man. It's that subtle thing. It's like a hunch. You just like, when you're like, dang, something told me, something tell me this ain't right. You got to listen to that. And I, the whole time I was like, something tell me this ain't right. And granted, I had not blocked this dude several times, but he'll come back and be like, baby, what's wrong? You know, I want to talk to you. Like, this is the words that he used. He's very romantic. That's the thing. Like, some dudes want to be very romantic. They're very poetic. I like words. I'm a lover, you know, of, of, of poetry, you know. So, it's just the way he put his words together. It's just like, hmm. Let me get this dude a chance. So before this happened, I did block his ass like several times because I went off my instincts. And you will have guys be like, oh, you know, you're impulsive. It's, I don't want to say it's impulsive. You got to know the difference between impulse and instinct. I think they're different. Some people are very impulsive, but I'm not acting on impulse. I'm act, I acted on my instinct, and that's what led me to block him. Now, I blocked this dude several times, and he would still be calling me private and Baby, please answer the phone. Please give me a call. I need you to call me. And I just gave in and called his ass. But yeah, so back to this morning, right? So I was like, yeah, this ain't gonna work, you know. I basically just gave it to his ass via text message. And then guess what came after I gave it to him? This is what happened. This is what happened. So after I told him, I was like, nah, this ain't gonna work. I can't do it, you know, because that's after I asked for his picture when he was, I guess, still sitting in his driveway at home. I was like, let me see your picture. And then he was like, no, you know, do this for me. I was just like, nah. And I was, that's why I was like, this ain't gonna work. Because I think you got, I think you married. I think something ain't right. Like, just the way you move is something ain't right. And so that's when the picture came in, y'all. People say, how did I know it was catfish? This is how, y'all. After I sent him that text message this morning, when I went off and told him, I'm done. I said, I'm done with you, man. He sent his picture. And when the picture came in, I, I'm sitting up here looking at the picture. I'm like, what the, is this a fucking joke? Like... Am I being pranked? I looked at the picture and the picture is way different, y'all, than the picture of the guy who I thought I was talking to. I, at that point, I knew I was, he had to tell me, I knew I was catfish. And so I just messaged him. I say, this picture is different than the, your other pictures. And he gonna reply back. It was like, yeah, because I was trying to see if you like light skin. If you prefer light skin or dark skin niggas. I'm like, what the fuck? India, India, I think I couldn't even be 
hurt at first. I think I was just I was laughing, yo. I was like, I couldn't even be hurt. I was laughing because I'm like, really? <laughs> never you say never again, Calibra. Y'all, it happens to us, man. <laughs> He did it because he wanted to see if I prefer light skin or dark skin niggas. I'm like, yo. It's disappointing because it's like the person that I was falling in love with don't look shit like him. And in his mind, I guess he has some kind of hope that I will continue to talk to him. And he, I say, so why did you lie to me up until this point? He was like... That's what he gave the reason that, you know, he wanted to see as an experiment if I prefer light skin over uh, dark skin. I'm like, first of all, the dude, the, the first picture you sent, the dude ain't even light skin. That's brown skin. He's not light. What do you, I say, dude, it's not even about light skin, dark skin. Like, what the fuck is going on here? It's not about light skin or dark skin. It's about you telling the truth and sending me the, your right picture. Like, seriously. And so then he was like, oh, well, when you sent me that last message... You know, and after our conversations, like, I just felt bad because I'm like, this is a good woman and I don't want to lead her on. I want her to figure out the real me. Y'all. This <laughs> happened to us this way. This shit just made my day. <laughs> it happened to the best of us, man. It's like, when you think you got on your P's and Q's, which I'm always on my P's and Q's, but... Some people, they, they real good at what they do, man. They they good. So, I say, so what else you lied about? Because obviously you sent me the wrong picture. I say, are you even 38? Because he told me he was 38 years old. He was like, he's 40. I'm like, no, you don't look 40. You look older than 40. Looking at that that face and your neck, like, no. That, that face look older than 40. No. And he was like, no. I said, your height is it still the same. He was like, yeah, I'm 6'6". Six, six. I like, everything else is the same. You don't have kids. You live alone. You're single. He was like, yeah, everything is the same. It's just the picture. I was like, well, why? Why would you? Why? Why would you do that? So he was like, so are you? do you still like me? Hell no. <laughs> My phone breaking up. I was like, hell fucking no. Like, do you really think? What in the hell would make a dude think that, like, you really think I would still like your ass? I fell in love with a fantasy, man. I fell in love with what I thought was a real person. The picture and matched with his voice. Now, granted, like I said, his voice sound like the picture. The first picture. It sound like the guy that I was liking. Because he got, dude got a sexy voice, man. Like, he's very charming he's very charismatic like dude i don't fall in love with ugly dudes man <laughs> he's 66 not exactly <laughs> one girl showed up about 100 pounds overweight y'all sneaking with these picture angles exactly you say he's 50 yeah he probably about in his 50s dude yo um i'm like man and he was really listening for me to respond to say whether I'm not, I'm still interested. I was just like, I ain't want to hurt the dude's feelings. But I was like, that's wrong. I said, you know you did wrong what you did, man. And I like the person on the picture. Like, this is not who, this is not the person that I thought you were. It's a totally different person. Like, you just lied to me. And then this whole thing about, oh, he didn't want to take things slow. Making it seem like, oh, he want to protect the relationship. It's so sacred. And he has this sexual urge. And he don't want to, like, meet because of the state in which he's in. He's horny and he's sexually frustrated. So he don't want to mess that up. So he want to take things slow so we can build a, a, a real bond and not just go into sex. Like, no, nah, that's bullshit. He ain't got shit to do with that. It was about, you ain't want to show me who you really were. And he motherfucking Killed that shit. He kept saying, oh, I'm a different kind of guy. You know this motherfucker have nerve to say that's what he meant? Talking about he's different. <laughs> it's like, that's what I meant. I kept saying it all along. I'm different. Now you see what I meant. 
by me being different. I'm like, dude, you fucking really pissed me the hell off, yo. That dude, I can't, I can't express how upset I am. He said, like, well, what about his heart? His mindset and goes just curious of <laughs> dog. Like, <sighs> I'm like, I can't, yo. I got a meeting to go to today. No, I don't trust him. I said, like, no, I ain't talking to your ass. I don't trust you, man. I don't trust you. I'm not talking to your fucking ass. Hell no. His son was on that picture, and now he can call you daughter-in-law. I don't even think that's his son. He claimed he don't have kids. At this point, like, no, nah, I can't trust him, man. He already violated trust. I'm like, this is the beginning of a relationship. You violated the trust. I can't trust you. So I don't know how we can fix this. I don't think it's repairable. It's not. Because I can't trust you. I don't trust you, man. Yes, of course I'm going to keep it moving, Chris. Of course I'm going to keep it moving. Yo. Ugh. Whole different person, yo. Whole different person. <laughs> Dope, yo. So, somebody was like, what about Elisa Tanya? What about his heart and mindset? He seems like a sweet dude. Like, I don't know. But I'm like, nah, hell, I can't, if I'm not physically, I ain't about to play those kind of games. If I'm not physically attracted to you, I can't do it. Why? I'm not about to play those kind of games. And then he lied. I just can't get past that. I, I'm still looking for the, I still want to meet the guy I saw in the picture, the first one. Not the second, not the second one. I want to see the first one. Take, yes, a whole different person. I, I just can't go, man. Like, people lie about all kind of stuff. People lie about them having kids, not having kids. People lie about all, like, do say, met a dude, a girl, 100 pounds heavier than what she said she was. Like, give him another chance. <laughs> right, stop that shit, y'all. Did y'all see the fucking picture? Did y'all see his picture? Tell me, give him a chance. You playing, yo. <laughs> Give him another chance. You know that shit ain't happening. Mm -mm. I can't. Mm -mm. I'm gonna start over. And he actually said that. He was like, so we could just, we could start from here. After like, he let the cat out of the bag. He was like, we could start from here. Start from here? Hell no. And he got nervous in him talking about, he want to take me to Vegas. Exactly, we start with a lie. Nah, I'm talking about he want to take me to Vegas this weekend. I'm about we can go to Vegas and you can, like, I'm about I'll pay for everything. You can get anything you want. Because y'all know Vegas ain't nothing but, what, three hours from L.A., like, driving. It's not that far. You know, a lot of people go to Vegas, like, for little vacations and stuff. He's talking about, oh, we can go to Vegas and, you know, I'll give you money to, to at the casino to gamble. Like, dude, I don't even gamble. I guess that's his thing. And I should have known this nigga old as hell. <clears throat> Gambling. I'm like, that's not even my thing. But Vegas sounds nice. A, a trip would be nice. So I'm like, I don't need your money. I don't need you to give me nothing. Like, nah, man. I should have known. <laughs> you say where he at? You'll go. <laughs> this and then the crazy thing about it, dude say he don't even live that far from where I live. Like we probably live maybe like five miles apart, based on where he said the intersection cross street where he lived and where I live. I'm like, damn, we don't even live that far apart. But mm -mm. that's not my type, man. He lied. He lied mentally. Like when you was asking, okay, where he at Men mentally? I like him. Like, we connect on that level. You know, obviously, he got up in my head, you know. So, we connect on that level, but... I <laughs> say, like, once you get off the plane, we'll see you again. <laughs> Hell no. Yeah, I can't. 
I don't think I ever. Oh yeah, I have been catfish. I, 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 I will take too much time to tell y'all about the very first time I got catfish. That shit was crazy. That shit was crazy. This I was young, y'all. Like I am not new to this online dating thing. Like because y'all know the internet been around for some years, and so. That would take a whole nother hour to tell y'all about that shit. But I, that shit was crazy. I was young. I was like 16 years old on this fucking date. And so I don't know which side it was. This girl got me. Like, she, it was, it's a girl, yes. It was a dyke. <clears throat> I thought it was a dude. Turned out to be a girl. That's a whole nother story. But <laughs> thank y'all for y'all support. Your girl got catfish. I don't know what to do. Just like so much time wasted. I'm definitely going to take your advice though to do that confirmation via video chat. Just real quick because I don't like to be talking for hours on video chat. But a real quick phone call over video won't hurt just to make sure that that person is real. For sure. Y'all can laugh. I laugh so I don't care. Y'all can go ahead and laugh. Laugh it off. <laughs> Catch you guys later. Bye.